Hmm, Rishi, why did your squirrel high not work? That's curious. That's a free email. Oh, you need to put an F on the end. It's the free version. You need to put SQRL, capital H, capital I, capital F. So, squirrel, like that, and then I think it's high with an F on the end for free. So, like that, but with no gap in it. Because the default one is, the sub one is the animated one. So, the free one's not animated, if that makes sense. It means you can say hi, but not be sub. Poetic, uh, poetic, thank you for seven months. Yeah, Vrome, you need to get with a plot, mate. Ask a mod. <laughs> uh, there isn't fruity because I literally at the start of the stream if you go back to the start of today's stream um, I literally went through we literally picked a bunch of mods so I don't really have a, a list because we randomly picked a load of stuff can I like tarmac this road because it looks rubbish uh-oh, what was that? Something's broke. Town authority complained about the following interrupted street connections. Wait, what? I upgraded a road! It's not like I broke something. You just made town roads on a, on a rural road. <sighs> Small country road. Oh, guilt. Do I need to put it back, or are they just going to suck it up? Or will they just cry? Do I need to, like, put that back now? For a cost of four thousand pounds, just to keep the town planners happy. You just made that road look better. We don't like it. <laughs> you lowered the speed limit, did I? Twenty. Oh, that's forty. Yeah, that's why they don't like it. There you go. There you go. 40 Ks. Are we happy now? We're happy now. We can't have a high speed time at road. If you want to drive quickly, you have to drive on rough ground. Obviously. Obviously. Wed wine. Wood two. Wed wed wine woo. That's number two. don't need to might be gonna to wind the road before the town grows and it becomes really expensive yeah yeah that is true all right how's the how's the lines doing okay Ooh, virginia port look at this it's actually overtaken the stone line as our main earner wicked how many people have we got 26 We've actually made a profitable ferry line. No, the horse drawn cart maximum speed is 20k. So it, it doesn't really make any difference. Just the town planners are just, you know what they're like, pen pushing bureaucrats. They just complain about everything. Okay, right, how's this going now? Oh, jeez. Why are you waiting for barrels? What's going on? There's plenty of... Something not right. Skylines of TF2, different kind of game, Tango. They're both really good games. 
Skylines focuses more on you aesthetically building cities. Think of it that way. Transport Fever focuses more on the logistics side of things. That you have no control over the city growth itself. Whereas in Skylines, you can design every road, every area, what's built there. You can change lines to only load comments. Yeah, something's not right. I don't know why. This is stuck. It hasn't figured out the connection. Did I put it in the wrong place? That's a combat drop-off zone. What does this one mean? No, oh, you can't manage it. Oh, this is breaking everything. What's going on? Seriously, what's going on? sat here forever there's only one thing here anyway Those town planners really screwed it up for me, didn't they? There you go, it's finally loading. So much for building all those trucks in the other, other town just to space things out. This has completely just wrecked it. That has absolutely cost a fortune, that. Why is it taking so long to load in... Look how many days are ticking by. Look how many days here is ticking by while that loads like one unit of combat. Something's just gone rip here. What? It's not loading anything. <laughs> Hang on. I'm switching which terminal they use. Well, I had it on one because... I don't know why it's trying to pick up oil if that's what it's trying to do. I thought that was just a default thing, pups. It's, it's putting some stuff there. I think it was like... I think when that road change happened, it completely broke the line. And it just got stuck. I think it'll be okay now.
Shouldn't need this though. I think it's waiting for industry to portion it there now. That's what it's doing. Let's just tell it to go if it's available. I think it's going to take time for this to just start dropping stuff there again. Yeah, we're just going to wait for a demand to pick up. I guess. It's a bit weird. Oh my god, we've got a major traffic jam. Because they're all trying to go that way. <laughs> See when to turn left. It's just blocking everything. It might be better with a second depot, you know. Just have like a depot for the town and a depot for this lot. It might actually work out better. And that way we don't cross the streams. I've tried the whole one-way thing. I've tried the whole one-way thing. It's not ideal. So we can put it there. Meep, meep. Come on, people. No time to rush. Stay calm and relax. And then... This is going to really break stuff. So we go Fontana, Conmat, and instead of going there, we go here. Get rid of that. It does connect to the factory because when you click on it, it highlights the color if it's connected. Well, that's yeah. Thank you. Pit CC, thank you, 57. Uh, do you think this game's worth a compared to version 1? I think so. Yeah, version 1 was fundamentally broken on some of the industry stuff. When the industry scaled up, it would just break. That was my experience. Right, I just got to wait for this to flush out a bit. There you go, let's put the material there now. That'll take it away from here. You can stretch the area the factory serves while building a new road directly behind it. Or this one. I don't think we need to. It's just cost so much money. Look at that. Our income just dropped massively because of that. I know they are going empty, dude. It's not a fail. It's a deliberate thing. Because we have to ha we have to run the carts. It's just the way the game works. We have to run the carts empty until the game's engine realizes that the supply and demand is there. And then it will start putting materials there. And then we can tell it to wait till full. Otherwise, we'll have trains, we'll have buses sitting there doing absolutely nothing. It's just a quirk of the game. I never got much um, Evans. I never. I always found wood a bit unreliable in this game. I found oil is the best. Wood just seems a bit weird. Radels, thank you for subbing for 17 months. Okay, it's flushed out a little bit. The materials are going there now. We're now transporting stuff to Virginia Beach. That's good. Things should start picking up again. Kind of want to change this junction, but I don't want to break all the supply lines again. Oh, 
kill the headquarters of your company. Why do we want to build a headquarters? That's the question. How about on that little beach there? <laughs> that actually looks like the best location. Either here on our own private beach or in the middle of our own private island with a hill. What do you think? The beach is a tax haven. Either there or there, I reckon. What would you go for? The both islands, dude. <laughs> the both islands. Do we go for the beach or the one with the trees as a perimeter? See, that acts as a nice windbreak and you'd be on a hill. This one, you can't really grow much, though. You reckon the one with the trees? Right, okay. Let's do that then. Build. Oh, that's doing weird things to the train. If you put it on the hill, it's going to do some weird stuff. We could put it down here. Like that, maybe. Or we'll just put it down at the front there. Looks all right. Lower the height. How? How do you lower it down? What's the magic key? Oh, there you go. I got that. Rawr. We shall live. In a hole. <laughs> like Mordor. <laughs> what a brilliant headquarters. <laughs> oh, man. Um, I quite like it when it's green. Because when you do that, look, it suddenly loses a lot of the greenery, which is a bit annoying. Gotta find the right balance. Oh, there you go. We're not gonna get it perfect, unfortunately. It's going to have the slope on the back, no matter what. It's weird the way it affects the greenery, though. I think I prefer down here. It doesn't look as rubbish. I think we'll just stick it, like, here. A couple of palm trees. A rocky back bar. That'll do. It doesn't disrupt. It looks quite natural. Landscaping, smooth. Looks like it was always here. Lovely. Land sink. Oh, they take combat here. Yeah, it's not that far away. Lol. Anyway, so how are we doing back here? Are they getting stuff? Are they getting stuff? Ninety-one percent transport. Probably add some more trucks here now, look. Because I think that's all for um All Virginia con man. How many have they got? 12 vehicles. It's making a small profit.
I can probably wait now. What's up, Wackaday? Have you found what you're looking for? I really want to just straighten that out and then just hate the shape of this. I think I'm just going to pause it and fix it. <laughs> Hope it won't break it. Oh, the town planners are going absolutely mad at me. What have you done? No, you're going the wrong way, bro. Turn around. Turn around. What are you doing? Hit the reverse gear. There you go. I don't think he knows where he's going. Oh, you're going the wrong way again. Do a U-turn. There you go. Now you're all good now. The extra ball condition cause additional emissions. Wait, what? Are you saying my, when my horse gets older, it has additional flatulence? Is that really how that works? Vehicles can be maintained or re replaced to reduce emissions. That's going to get expensive. I don't want to be upgrading my horses right now. I don't really care about emissions. It's 1885. Nobody cares. Only matters in towns. They don't like the horse thing in towns. Six people. Mm. Yeah, it's growing pretty well. What's the next thing? We know that we can get wood from here and then we can make it into planks here and we can make planks into tools here and we can send tools into here. We know all of that. We know that bit. The question is, is that too far for horse and cart? Because <laughs> it does seem like quite a bit of a distance. What's the um, finances? Table. Wait, you can only borrow or repay in half a million amounts. Jeez, man. Second. You definitely use a train for that kind of... Yeah, but I can't afford a train. That's the problem. A train is an insane amount of money. And we just don't have it unless we start borrowing loads of money and we're already 5 million in debt. So what do you do? Yeah, we've got quite a few months going. Use a boat. Um, we can't really use a boat for that, can we? It's all across land. And boats aren't cheap. Like That boat was half a million. Um, having said that, it's making 170 grand a year. So it's kind of paying for itself after four years or so. <laughs> Lol, wackaday. <laughs> That's the way it works. That's the most useless iron ore mine ever. Having said that, you could bring it into here, look. Are there any other towns we can develop? Maybe just passenger lines or something. 
Tallahass could potentially have passenger runs. Maybe. Don't know if it's worth it. Wood trains may buy the purchase cost pretty fast. I don't know. We'd have to borrow a lot of money. I mean, how much can you even borrow? Five million feels like a lot of debt. Because the interest on that is 50 grand a year. You know, that's going to be a lot of debt interest every year. I'm wondering if the Conmat boat is an option. But the Conmat trucks are already doing the job, so not a very good job, though. Loans for oil. Yeah, the oil is a different story. We've got oil wells here. And then the nearest refinery is here. And then it can take oil to here for plastics. The problem with that is plastics is a really difficult endpoint. Like every plastic consumer also requires steel. And if you can't get rid of the oil, normally I take the oil and burn it into gas, I think. Passenger transportation is really profitable if it's up and running. Well, we have got passenger transport going on here. Um, that line there is a passenger line. As are the feeder buses. So between them are making like, what, a quarter of a million? That's pretty nasty. Yeah, you can make into fuel. The problem is finding a refinery to do it. Why can we take oil and turn it into fuel? Can't you see anyone? There's one. Fuel refinery. One down here, which is just in the middle of nowhere. There's one there. That's not too bad. It's got train written all over it, though, isn't it? And that's kind of on an island. <laughs> uh, look at the industry tab for fuel producers industry tab which is that one industry no unless you mean that one here one here and one here they're the only three on the map and they are all in the corners of the map hmm see I like this here there's a refinery there which takes crude makes it into oil. Oil goes to here as, as fuel. So there's, you know, a nice shipping run there. I quite like that. But then getting crude requires this. So you've got crude boats to there, boat to here, and then the fuel. Now what are you doing with the fuel? Who's consuming the fuel? 
Mr. Simcopter, thank you for the host. I hope you're well, sir. Good to hear from you. Can we get a shout out for Simcopter, please? He's a lovely guy. Very beardy chap. Definitely worth a follow. Uh, take the fuel back to Detroit. I hope you're well. Yeah, it's great seeing you. Hope you had a good stream. Fremont's right, far right to the fuel refiner, Fremont and Houston. Fremont here. Yeah, that's a good point, actually. What was the other one? Fremont and what? Houston. Here. Okay, that's slightly more tricky, but that would set up the run. Oil. Crude oil, refined oil, fuel, sell. There's a line there. Trouble is they'll produce so much of it, we'll need to bring it to Houston as well. You can bring fuel back to Detroit. How? Where's Detroit gone? Over there. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's even better. That is even better. Because that pays for the, the trip back. That's actually quite a good run. Because the only thing that's one way is that. Because this will be profitable both directions. And that is just, yeah. The condition of multiple vehicles is very poor. Duly noted. Right, now to do this, we'd need a boat here. That's half a million. <laughs> at least one. Probably two boats here. I don't know. At least one. One. If you put the... Where would you put the port? You'd have to truck it to the destination. One to carry between all four stops? Nah, that's not going to work. I don't think that's going to work because you'd have, you have, like, when it brings crude in, it just takes time to convert it. You have barrel to the east of Detroit. I mean, this one. Yeah, that can be brought in as well at some point. The debt is worth it. It's a massive, massive risk because it's huge outlay setting up oil. I reckon we'd have to borrow at least five million, at least. I think you also need two crew to make one refined oil, so the ratio is two to one. Oh, is it really? Production says 200. It doesn't tell us what it consumes. But it has got a 200 as opposed to this 400. That's only 100. So it might be squeezing 42 to 1, possibly. Under, oh, yeah, 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 I see. Two barrels. Yeah, two barrels to 1. And 1 to 1. Okay, that's fine. So you need two of them to one of them. Blimey. But the distance of this compared to this... I mean, we could, we could. I know, yeah, I know what we do. I know what we do. This way we can make better use of stuff. So we have a port here. We have a port here and we have a port here. And we basically truck the oil to there. A ship picks it up to there, to there, to there. The same, and we have like two boats just running the same triangle. We ignore that for now. We just have two boats running that triangle. Yeah? And just have trucks bringing it in. And trucks bringing it there. You can also use it for planks. Uh, we could because, well, yeah, we can. There is something there, but it's not as profitable. Because the end point for planks is tools, and tools need to be go to Fremont. 
So there's definitely a thing going on here. And then there's even passengers between Detroit and Fremont, which will help grow the towns. So I think we should save it, borrow some money and go for it. <laughs> Be lucky the port will touch the refinery. If we're lucky. If we're really lucky. Okay. Wed wine. Fui. Because that's the third save. Let's have a look what happens when we try to build. Yeah, there's no way that's ever going to touch that. We can build it like that and get that in its catchment. But we're definitely going to be trucking down there. Northern crew to Detroit oil. To Freeman fuel. Yeah. To Detroit town. Back to Northern crew as one route. So you're thinking of that crew instead. That's your refinery there, look. Why that crude instead of that crude? Because the, the the way I see it is the boat that's coming out of here with with um with gas needs to go there, doesn't it? More money in a greater distance. But that gas has to be taken to Detroit. And then the journey to there is not paying at all. If you do the triangle, you get paid in all directions. The crew near the water doesn't need trucks to take it to the port. Are you sure about that? When I put this down, it doesn't show that in the catchment. How can crude get to the... I have to do that just to get that in catchment. You need to build a road to connect the other crude once you place a road. Oh, you want about this one? Right. If you go there, you've got to go crude to here, oil to here, gas to here, and then that last leg is non-profitable, right? Because you're not taking anything anywhere correct and you're saying that's better just so i understand where you're coming from and you think that's better than doing that triangle because it's more distant No, you can't have pipelines. <laughs> pipelines would be absolutely cheating. <laughs> Might as well consider the crew at the top later on for plastic production, which is the... That one. That chem plant, you mean. We know that we need twice as many crew coming in. I think that we should have a ship dedicated to this. It goes bang, bang, like that. Both routes get paid, and the ratios are the same either way, one to one. For the crude oil, I think you have either a ship there and a ship there, so you get your two to one, or you have double the number of ships or something like that. 
I don't think the triangle works because of the ratio here is different. Fremont requires gas. Yeah, it does. But we can we can use the gas back at Detroit and get paid. The ship gets paid both ways then. I think it's cheaper now for crew east of Detroit. Well, I think we can bring both crewed in and just have a ship like that. I think that's probably the best option. Anyway, I don't know how much money we're going to need, but let's uh, put the cargo. Whoa, 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 whoa. We'll put this down first. Might be better just putting the road in. Uh, if you bring it both, you can sell the fuel in both cities. Yeah. We can indeed. Why does that cost 245,000? Jeez, that's a lot. should know wait is that connected to that was it past pizza time i don't feel like that's connected connect the ports back to the refinery back to the refinery That's really weird, but it's a distance problem. Okay, so we have that port there. We'll start off with just this one port initially. It's just going to look nasty no matter what we do. Here we get a bit of extra distance.
Okay. Now we have three ports. We can just go with the default thing for now. So this is, let's see, this is Fremont, Detroit. Seriously worth it if you enjoyed the original tier. Yes, it's a lot better than the original tier. You'll definitely enjoy it more. Right, now that's going to be uh, an Arbor oil well. An Arbor oil, effectively. same route not two no i'm using two because the ratio is two to one so i want to do that instead right we already discussed that <laughs> we need to drop off the gas to we need a bus station for this so we wanted to drop off in the industrial bit bar we're gonna need a road depot out of town road depot like that. and then truck station pickup cargo stop not a bus station it is a cargo stop um if you look at the unless i put the wrong icon down one sec i think i put that down didn't i yeah, you're right place existing that's what i should have put down yep the cargo stop thank you right so we've got the depot there we've got the branch here let's make sure that's long enough um what else do we need shipyard would be good two landings at the refinery so the crew boat can unload regards to the race boat that's a very good point mm. cargo we're gonna need some more money as well do for now right I've got two landings there so now all we need is the money to move the stuff what are the other buildings when you put the depot down what do you mean pubs 
What do you mean? We've got the shipyard. We need the truck line. Uh, Detroit. Gas trucks. like that station types don't match bus stop and train station bus stop that's not a bus stop what Wait, did I click? Oh, I clicked that, didn't I? Durr. I clicked the wrong thing. <laughs> Mistakes are made. It seems you're running out of money. Look at that. Not one line in the red. We're doing okay. Running the cash down to the wire. So, we don't need trucks initially there. Well, we put one truck on the line. Just get it, the, get it, the game working. Uh, yeah, it's it's not going to do anything until we put boats out, is it? So, how much is it going to cost us? Right, let's have a look. Five vehicles, cargo. Let's see. Capacity of seventy. Capacity of hundred. That can take crude... Oh, that looks perfect. That's perfect. Crude oil and gas, and it's 584 with a capacity of 90. The oil tankers need large landings. What, this one? Oh, yeah, size large. That's going to cost money as well, isn't it? We can't do large landing. Build a large dock. Rip. <laughs> uh okay 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 well we can just demolish that that's no use anyway yeah we need one of these don't we so you can do that Effectively. Right, borrow. Catching. do for now that also means we're gonna need large landings down here Whee! yep three mil this is where we go bankrupt This is where we are going all in. What the flipping heck is going on here? <laughs> okay. We have 1.2 million left. 
Bye. Get the crude going. I told you this was going to be like... It could make or break us this. If we get this going, we'll make a ton of money. If we get it wrong, dead in the water. Crippled by the interest payments. Oh, there's already some crude waiting. That's a good sign. Not only is shipping expensive, it takes a lot of time. Uh, Tahu Harek, I think I missed your 15 month anniversary. Thank you very much. And Slecken, five months. Uh, Garel Trivian, thank you for subbing. I, I missed so many. I'm sorry, guys. I think I get a bit focused. The condition of multiple horses is very poor. By the time it gets there, there's going to be way more crude. Look at that. There's already twice as much crude as it can even deal with. Wait, wait, wait. Where are you going, bro? It's over there. It's over there, mate. Which port are you going into? Okay, that's fine. Set. I have no idea why it just did this crazy stuff, but there you go. I hope we get paid a load of money for this. Oh my god. <laughs> There's so much crude. Do we buy another boat? Or just wait until we can actually do the crude oil? Sorry, the, the oil gas thing? Shunning Armors, thank you for subbing. Tries to go to the least shallow port in the sea. Nearest to land, it's a bit weird. Yeah. I don't know whether we just buy another crude ship or wait for this to move in and then buy the oil gas ship, you know? Maybe wait until that's dropped off and then... Because it's going to take time for that refinery to kick in, but... If there's no boat assigned on that line, I, I'm not sure if it will. Wakataco, thank you, 54. Yeah, okay, well, we'll give this time to kick off. I don't know how much it'll dump on the deck, though. It's an insane amount of oil. How much do you reckon we're going to get paid from this? Look how much it's costing. There's no demand it won't supply. It usually supplies a little bit. It usually puts some on the port. I don't think so. I hope you're right. It's quite a long journey. Straight through the shallow path. Look at that. Not even bothered. The underscore, thank you for almost four years. 
I can't remember Echolos. We added a few different bits and pieces. There we go. Showtime. I want to see what that does about it as well. Minus a hundred grand so far. Not to mention the running costs of all these docks. Okay, production started over here. It's chucking out stuff. Um, I'm not sure if you can change the pathing. I found a way once to do something, but I can't remember what I did. Uh, Mr. Sedster, thank you for 42 months. Ooh, the San Diego electric trolley. Nice. Nice little passenger thing. Instead of horse and cart, we can have electric trolleys. Right, at what point do we buy our next ship? That's the question. soon start to put stuff here. We shall see. Yeah, the oil storage isn't full yet, though. Okay, he's decided to do one over there instead. Oh, sorry, you meant the other port. Yeah. I think it needs the ship to actually dock for it to realise that there's a proper connection. That's a good point. We need trucks down here, don't we? That's a very good point. Eighty-seven grand that we don't have. Borrow some more money. Well, we've no, we've got to move the. They're not connected to here, are they? We need to sell the gas. Oh, wait a minute. We're bringing the gas back to here, aren't we? My bad. Yeah, now the gas is being brought back to Detroit. But we need a truck. That'll take gas. Put a couple of trucks in. There we go. Just have a couple on the line just to sort of grease the cogs. Uh, Rumble B Norway, thank you for seven months.
the steam flatbed and the steam tarpaulin truck. They do 25 Ks. Woo! I'll probably break down every five minutes. We're going to lose a load of money until this thing properly kicks in. Hey, Lotus. Mr. Highwell, thank you for 11 months. It's not listed anywhere as a consumer yet. I think what has to happen is that boat has to go here and forge that connection, and then the game goes, oh, yeah, right now we can do this. In the meantime, I just go bankrupt. No, it's not broken. It just doesn't know about the line yet. They updated it so it doesn't anymore. Okay, so why is it not supplying then? So why is it not supplying that line then? It, it might be the return path. You know the gas return path. It might be that. The refinery is not connected to the dock. Wrong. There is a road. We did all that. Look, it's all connected because when you click on it, it highlights it. Look, watch. See? It's fine. When this goes in, you'll see the value of oil just goes in. Now it knows about the Fremont fuel refinery. Now it's supplying. Right there. Black gold. Now he's on his way back. So having cost us a hundred grand, he should pick that oil up and start making some money. That should kick off the gas supply. I know the crew needs another gas, uh, another ship. I know that. But you know, we're kind of in debt. <laughs> Yeah, we need twice as much crude as oil. Um, so we need another ship on that. But we just don't have a spare 500 grand right now. We just, because we've got a buffer this. We've got a buffer this. This is the real money train, this one. Because this will make money in both directions. Uh, Southlander, good night. Yeah, it just processed everything. There we go. And the annoying thing is it'll drop this off and then this will start to make it into gas, but it'll have already left. So we'll get that gas on the next run. Right, let's borrow a cheeky half mil. Deploy another one. We 
We know that'll make money because we've got all this oil lined up here. Transporting 10%. Flipping egg. Why not take the gas that's sitting near the gas plant? Because we are going to do that when the demand is up and running. But for now, we're just going to take the gas back here. Because we're already, we've already got the ship coming back anyway. So it might as well get paid to come back. If we start to sell the gas here, that's less gas that this can take back. So then this ship, which is expensive to run, is not able to pay for its own fees on the way back because trucks are taking the profit. Um, is there no wait till fall? Yes, there is. Yeah. So on the line, let's say when it gets into the Detroit, Detroit port here, you can say load and wait for a full load. And then you can also control what it picks up and unloads. So you've got that control, but it's not worth doing it yet. should get paid for that. The 10 wheeler, 100 Ks, two million dollars. Okay, so it now knows that Detroit is a consumer of gas, so it knows about that. Which is good. This will just about get there. Nice. We should start to make money slowly now, and then we can start chipping away at that loan. Trouble is, all these horses are getting really old. We'll also need some more trucks to move that stuff. gas yeah this is why we need a second crude coming in yeah it's a fun game this i like it it's very easy to get it wrong though and destroy yourself financially <laughs> replace the horses for steam trucks yeah i'm kind of I'm holding out on the horses, firstly because I don't have the money, and secondly because I want something like a proper upgrade. Because, I mean, ideally we want to get back over here. We want to get another passenger and boat running here, because I suspect this is not coping much. No, actually it appears to be. But yeah, we want to replace all of these, um, particularly this with um, something better than just horse and cart. It's, you know, these towns are growing quite quickly now. Fontana's growing the quickest. Now you need to make the truck station near the port longer.
but still a bit of a pauper. Well, we already made it a bit longer. I think it's going to be okay. We'll see. Where's that boat? 43 gas waiting for him. Nice. Now, that boat is just leaving as this one's leaving. So they're absolutely perfect timing now. He's really good. And hopefully, if that one can get here before he gets back, then he may almost get a full load. Mr. Mike, thank you for 53. Yeah, Mr. Wackaday. Although it looks like we've got cash, we really don't. <laughs> we really don't have cash. We paid 90000 in interest last year. That's just mad. Right, listen, guys, we're three o'clock, so this is where I take a break for an hour. Uh, go and stretch my legs, have some food and stuff. Uh, we're going to carry on with this in an hour's time. So if you want to see what happens next, see if the shipping actually um, makes us good money, pop back in an hour, 60 minutes. Good time to go and have a break. Walk the dog. Stretch your legs, have some food. You have to go to work in an hour. Yeah, I want to pay our loan back as well. So, yeah. Um, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed yourself so far. Hopefully, I'll see you in an hour. If you're heading out, have a good evening. So, take it easy, guys. Bye for now. Back in an hour. <laughs>